Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Nino the Chosen here. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys of how to combo in Ninjala. So basically this video is going to be going through how to uh, keep your combos consistent, um, combo canceling and all that uh, sort of nonsense. So first we're going to go with combo canceling. So combo canceling is very easy to perform. All you have to do is throw out a random attack and cancel it with your jump. So basically, there are five attack options. You have normal attack, back attack, wide attack, special, and break attack. All of these attacks can be canceled depending on how fast the attack is. Then you'll be able to cancel the combo with a jump. Here's an example. Two hit normal attack, cancel into wide attack, ash cancel into back attack, and e punch. You finish your opponent. You can also jump cancel with a dash. For example, if you use an attack that sends you, that gives the opponent knockback, you can just dash forward and continue extending the combo. Not only that, you can also use your gum shoots and gum nijitsus to combo as well. Gum shoots are heavily suited for sticking your opponent, that way they can be vulnerable, stuck in your gum, and gum nijitsus are suited for finishing your opponent. Next, we're going to talk about Gum Breakage. To prevent yourself from being in a parrying state, you can attack the opponent with a couple of moves here and there, but once they release their Shinobi Burst, and outplay them with a Break Attack. This way, you won't constantly be in a parrying state with your opponent. In addition, they also won't have their weapon. If your opponent is gum guarding, they are able to block your attacks. If you use any other attack options, their gum will obviously block that attack. But if you use gum break, they'll automatically be stuck in their own gum. It's also really important to use the target to aim at your opponent. That way when you blow your gum and gum shoot your opponent, it'll aim straight to your opponent. Here is without target. Now here is with target. Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Nino the Chosen here, and today we are back with more Ninjala. And if you guys are wondering, why the heck am I in this game right now? Well, obviously, uh, the Japanese um, had a, uh, a session for a Ninjala beta. So this is, this is the exclusive club beta, and right now I'm just in training mode. And uh, here on out, I'm just going to show you guys uh, combo canceling, because I know it was a huge mouthful, so I'm just going to be more detailed here. So um, just let me know in the comment section below um, if you guys are still lost in the whole combo canceling thing. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do a four hit uh, normal attack. It's usually four hits. So one, two, three, four. There we go. So um, the normal attack is uh, four hits and it only has like a little bit of percentage, a little bit of HP. This isn't smash, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do my combo canceling mix, uh, mix up, uh, which I'm going to uh, perform with a wide attack. So I'm going to do three hits of normal attack and perform with a wide, a wide attack. So one, two, three, jump and cancel with your wide attack. And there you go. So that's basically how combo canceling works. It's all about canceling uh, attacks, and uh, you can also cancel it with um, with your uh, gum shoots and gum ninjutsus, and also your special moves. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some special moves. One, two, three, bam, shoot. There you go. So it, it's kind of hard to explain, but you guys will get used to it. Once you uh, get your hands in Ninjala again, or if you if you haven't played it at all, but, <laughs> but um, I'm also gonna show you guys um, combo canceling with the gum shoot and a mix up with the gum nejitsu. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and combo cancel into tornado, ninja tornado, and let's go ahead and see. One, two, three, jump cancel, two jump shot. 
and then perform with a ninja tornado. So uh, basically, the, the when when trying to perform a uh, gum ninja too, it is kind of hard after like after the um uh gum shoot because you can't cancel the gum shoot. Like I think you can. Wait. I think you can cancel the gum shoot. I'm just not sure. But um. I, I think you can also cancel, yeah, you can pretty much cancel all other moves, but you cannot cancel the, um, you can't cancel the Gum Nijutsu, um, after you've, uh, performed it, released your Gum Nijutsu, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, go to, uh, no cooldown, so I can perform it, show it off, so I'm just gonna do a, uh, like a full-on three-hit, uh, combo, normal, and you know, just release my <laughs> my gum ninjutsu. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then cancel. And then bam. That's how easy it is. You guys will definitely get used to it. Um, you guys can also perform like you know, like uh, think like little crazy things, you know. But all these combos are not like they're not they're not true because you never know. You will get hit with a um with a parry like let's say if the opponent s burst i'm gonna set the cpu up to s burst and let's see uh wide attack special break attack no 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 uh s energy no no, no. standby okay so i'm gonna set it up to um s burst all right so once you know once you hit your opponent they usually re react will react with a um uh uh, S burst, right? So, you know, you're always going to be set in this parry situation if you hit them again and, you know, you're in a rock, paper, scissors, shoes situation. So, you're going to have to, you know, just, you know, try to get your opponent. And it's good that, you know, Gung Ho Online Entertainment, also known as Play Ninja Lo, you know, they announced that you can, you know, just like dash out of this parry situation. Um, it was in the game before, but a lot of people didn't know about it, so I'm glad that, you know, they did not remove this mechanic. It's going to take a lot of time to get used to, but once they release their S-Energy, their S-Burst, right? Alright, so once they release their S-Energy, right, in this situation, right, you're going to want to break attack, which is, you know, your most powerful move. So, you know, basically every, you know, weapon has a break attack, obviously and um this basically sends your opponent back but if they react of course react with a s burst then they won't fly back so we're gonna go ahead and just hit the opponent once with a normal attack and then use break attack one break attack and there you go so once you release your break attack when they s burst they will be stuck in their gum and they will also have no weapon meaning that you know they can only you know run around and you know use you know if how do, I, how do I say this? They can only run around and, you know, have their gum out, which means, you know, they can just, like, gum guard. So, um, once they have, um, alright, now that she has her weapon. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just, uh, gum guard, because obviously, you know, once you, once you've pulled out your break attack after they burst, you know, you won't just leave them there. You, you know you're gonna hit them again. So, we're gonna go ahead and just normal attack into... Uh, normal attack into break attack again. Let's go ahead and do this. And from there, you can just combo. Bam. Very easy stuff. Um, and by the way, she, that whole time she did not have her weapon. So let's go ahead and go over uh, gum guarding, right? So gum guarding is basically, you know, they can they have the uh, option to you know just shoot and you know guard attacks so i'm going to show you guys um my perspective of what um gum guarding looks like because uh you don't even have to face your opponent in order to guard attacks you can just you know just stand there and with your gum so i'm just gonna stay right here bam see the shields in this game is kind of like it's basically like smash brothers so, um, and once you've, um, like, get hit, like, two times, like, you're gonna have to prevent yourself from getting hit, and, you know, basically, you know, just, um, you know, gum, like, wait for your gum to come back, because your gum does have, 
um your gun will disappear after you've gotten um uh how do i say this gum gum attacked basically like two times so yeah guys uh and also i'm just gonna go ahead and gum break her so let's see uh cp standby let's see gum guard all right so once they have their gum guard um you can obviously like you know gum break them from behind like this and then they'll, they'll be broken and then you can come kind of from there and yeah there you go that's all you guys need to know um if you guys have any uh questions just let me know in the comment section below um and uh yeah guys if you guys want to play this early you're only able to uh like play this um this is not the full version of the game obviously um, this is just the exclusive ninja club and you're only allowed to you know just hang out in the uh training room and yeah um what else should i say oh yeah about this guy right if you guys don't know this guy right here has some combo potential because let me show you guys all right so i'm gonna perform this combo right here without her gum guard and stand by all right so there you go. So what you guys just saw there was a shinobi. Um, what what you guys saw there was a shinobi card. Um, activate. It's called the it's you. I don't even know how to say it. Um, it's you use me. It's basically like a bomb. It's a it's a um. It's basically a a bomb. So I'm gonna go through that. I'm gonna go through all the shinobi cards in the next video. Um and uh, yeah guys. Um and yeah, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. Um I'm gonna show you guys some uh, combo potential with this uh shinobi card. And uh, yeah guys. I believe that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Nino Chosen. If you guys have any questions related to Ninjala, just let me know in the comment section below. More Ninjala content is coming soon, so stay tuned. Peace out, guys.